Okay, so today we're going to talk about fatty liver and bile salts, okay? Here's the problem. When you have a fatty liver, you will not be able to make the amount of bile salts that your body really needs. Bile is needed to help break down fats uh, and dispose of cholesterol, okay? So and I'm talking about healthy things like extracting essential fatty acids, omega-3, DHA fats for the brain. You, you need bile to do that. You need bile to break down fats and in, in to extract vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin K2. So without bile, you can't get those benefits. Bile also uh, breaks down cholesterol to prevent stones, okay? So the less bile you have, the more concentrated the cholesterol and the more stones that your body can generate. So with a fatty liver, the capacity for the liver to work is a lot less. And the liver cells are the cells that make bile. So there's a couple of things that make a fatty liver. The big one is alcohol, but there's also a type of fatty liver called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And 20% of the population has this condition. The way that you would know you have it, you can do an ultrasound, uh, but a much easier way is just to look down at your belly. If you have a belly, you have a fatty liver, okay? Or if you have back fat, um, you have a fatty liver. And even people that don't have um, a gut also many times will have a fatty liver. Um, they call that skinny fat, where they're eating a lot of sugar and a lot of junk food, and they're just developing a fatty liver. They're more likely to get diabetes than a gut because just the way that their metabolism works. But this condition usually comes from high amounts of insulin, okay? Because insulin is causing the carbs to be converted into fat in the liver, and especially fructose. But you might say, well, I don't consume fructose uh, or fruit, only sucrose. Well, sucrose is half glucose and half fructose. So you're getting it that way. Or agave nectar is like 98% uh, fructose. So it's really, really deadly. Um, with this fatty liver situation. Also, when you get a fatty liver, that can actually cause insulin resistance and trigger your body to make more insulin just from having that. So it's kind of a, uh, insulin will cause the fatty liver and the fatty liver will cause higher amounts of insulin by developing a condition called insulin resistance. So normally the liver will produce about 350 milligrams of bile every single day. So the more concentrated your liver is with fat, the less you're going to produce. The other problem is that um, a fatty liver will decrease thyroid function because you need the liver and you also need bile to help convert the inactive form of thyroid T4 to the active form, which is T3. And without that function, um, you can actually have a hypothyroid condition. The other problem is that without enough bile, um, you may have an overgrowth of bad bacteria because there's a relationship between bile and your microbes. You can even develop a condition called small intestinal bacterial overgrowth in which there's too much bacteria growing up into the small intestines because one of the things that bile will do is it will kill the bad bacteria and keep the, the microbes in check. So you can see that a fatty liver can greatly affect your body just by not producing the amount of bile salts that you really need. Hey guys, so there's a whole bunch of people that really need this information. So press the share button and let's get it way out there.